Welcome to Treasure Quest 2024. In this episode, we start at the home front, work in the front lawn. We start the hunt utilizing the Garrett Ace 300. For this hunt, we're starting with the Garrett in coin mode. Let's see how it does. Well, it's no surprise. First find is a coin. Way to go, Jared. Moving along. Got another single here. Let's see what we got. Damn a lava ding dong, it be a penny. Some more beeping. Beep, beep, beep. Let's see what we got. Pulling dimes from the ground. What could be better? Sweet little beep beep. Looks like another penny found. Bang! Doesn't take long. He's another target. This play mode's really working. It's another one. Let's pull out the old Fisher F-22. We'll set this to coin mode, and let's see how it compares. I'm really interested to see if it stacks up with the Garrett. Right off the rip, another coin. What's that? This looks a little interesting. Let's give a little spit in the rundown and see what we got. There we go, that's a little better. Definitely Canadian. Oh boy, that looks interesting. Night, team 53. Sweet. Fisher's on the target. One A Lincoln close to retirement. Way to go. There it is. Another signal. This yard is really making sense. Many hours on this Fisher, I know it's going to compete well with the Garrett. Right away, another beep. Another set. With the detector swinging, it's time for a brief intermission. I'd like to take this time to remind you to like, share, subscribe, and ring my bell.
with the front yard and the rear view. It's time to try a field by the house. Instead of running the fence along the top lot, this time it'll run a straight line to the track. With the Fisher set in relic mode, let's see what it turns up. Ooh, is this space debris? Another beep? Another target. Some shredded can nugget. And action. A trash nugget. Awesome. With this surface find next to a hole that's not filled in, you realize people can be jerks. Please fill in your holes, everyone. And we're live. Get this nickel back into circulation. The sound is music to my ears. Not exactly sure what this is. Could be part of a lot more. Shredded can. Now it's time for the Garrett Ace 300, switching it to relic mode. Let's see how it performs. Look, a golf ball. And a chain. Nice surface finds. Now it's time for a signal. Quarter. Oh, four inches down. for the love of humanity, it's a quarter. Awesome. Almost buried golf ball. Tripping around. Awesome. On in retirement. Just a little old nut. Sure, could be a piece of lot more space degree, earth core, bronze age artifact. It's definitely something. Another beep, another target. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. It's crap. Here's something. Well, um, uh, uh, well, it's something. One last dig. Turns out to be, and I don't know what it is. Now let's see how these two machines did in head-to-head -head coin shooting. Starting off with the penny. Followed up by another cent. A dime. Another cent. 
Yep, you guessed it. An interesting 1953 Canadian scent. Another Lincoln. Yuck. Some more of the same. A nickel. And a quarter sweetness. Ending up with this piece of something. And another piece of something. To be fair, the Garrett Ace 300 and the Fisher F22 are pretty evenly matched. I'm not ready to say who's better right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. You are all awesome. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. You are all awesome.